Thank you. It's a great honour to accept this award on behalf of Dr. Wesley Tevedarsen and the Bionics Institute. Before working at the Institute, I worked as a travel agent for about five years. It was an exciting career, the pay was good, and I got to travel the world. But then one day, I woke up and asked myself whether I wanted to spend the rest of my life changing people's flights or changing people's lives. So I did what any travel agent would do and went back to uni to study science and engineering. Not long after, I found an organization that shared my passion and vision, the Bionics Institute, and I was very fortunate to get an opportunity to work with them on life-changing research. Which is why we're very grateful to the Brain Foundation for this award. This funding will be used to research freezing of gait. Imagine you're crossing the street when all of a sudden you freeze on the spot, right in the middle of traffic. You try to move forward, but you just can't. Scary, right? Well, sadly, this is life for someone with freezing gait, a disabling symptom of Parkinson's disease affecting millions. And unfortunately, there's no cure, but there's hope. As part of my honors project at the Bionics Institute, we built a low-cost wearable device in the form of a shoe insole that can automatically detect freezing in patients. We now want to take it one step further by combining this device with some sort of stimulus, such as a visual cue, a sound, or a vibration, so that since studies have shown that these cues can unfreeze freezing. So using this feedback system, we hope to reduce freezing in sufferers so that they can take those three extra steps to cross that street. And that's why I believe this study is a step in the right direction. So thank you again for this lovely award and for helping us change lives. Thank you.